Hello and welcome to Mastering Java. In this lesson we're going to talk about logarithms. Um, for those of you who are doing any kind of programming that involves uh, math calculations, frequently you'll run into something called a logarithm. Um, it's not my goal in this lesson to teach you exactly what logarithms are. I have lots of math classes that can teach you that. I'm mostly trying to show you how to use it in the context of Java here. So let me open up that documentation here and if you go into the math class and jump down here you'll see a method as part of the math class called log. It requires as an argument that you pass to it uh, a double precision number and it tells you that it returns the natural logarithm base e of a double value. This is the, the real gotcha that I need to tell you in Java. It's also true in other programming languages. When you take the log of a number, it really means the natural logarithm. So on most calculators, there's a log button, L-O-G, and there and there is also an LN button. Um, in Java, there's no LN function. So if you're trying to take a natural logarithm, this is what you use, L-O-G. It's taking the natural logarithm. This is also true in other, other programming languages. Now, if you want to take a base 10 logarithm, which is the LOG button, LOG is as far as a log on most calculators, then this is what you use, log 10. So the bottom line is if you're doing base 10 logarithm, which is LOG on a calculator, this is what you use. If you're hunting around for a natural log, this is what you use right here. So let me show you how to handle that. If we just want to do a quick calculation, system.out.print ln, okay? Then we can throw our semicolon over here, and then inside, let's say we're going to do a natural logarithm. So again, you reference it by capital M-A-T-H, that's the math class, dot L-O-G. Notice it's trying to help me. Uh, these two are the most common. This thing down here, uh, I'm not going to teach you because it's pretty, pretty rare that you would need that. But the two uh, methods that I'm discussing here are the top two. So just put your L-O-G, open your parentheses, and now we need to pass it some kind of a number. So if I pass it a number, let's say 5, or 5.0, um, then uh, basically what's going to happen is it's going to take the natural logarithm, because remember in Java when you reference the log method, it's really the natural logarithm that gets calculated, returns the natural logarithm, which is base E uh, there. So this is what you, you get, it returns a number and then it prints that guy out. In this case, you take the, the natural log of 5, you get 1.6. Now to convince yourself that this really is a natural logarithm, if you pass it the value of e, which is kind of why I showed you that value exists in Java, the constant math.e is, is the number 2.71, bunch of decimals after it, then you should get exactly 1 because when you take the natural logarithm of e, you should always get 1. That's a property of logarithms. Now if you do something crazy and try to put, um, let's say, negative 5.5 here, or something like that, negative number, you're going to get not a number because the natural log or logarithms in general don't give you a real result when you try to go and pass negative numbers to them. Um, so you're not going to get a complex or an imaginary result. It's just going to tell you not a number. And likewise, this is actually kind of cool. If you stick zero in there, then Java will tell you it's negative infinity. If you look at the graph of a logarithm, as you approach zero, if you pass something very close to zero in here, you get very big negative numbers. So as you approach zero, you, get, you should get negative infinity. So it's smart enough to know that log of zero approaches negative infinity. So either you'll get not a number if you pass it, you know, negative, negative number or something like that, like negative seven, or you'll, you know, get a real number or you'll, sometimes it'll tell you infinity. All right, now occasionally you'll need to use the uh, base 10 logarithm that's the LOG button on most calculators. And so that in Java is LOG 10. And that's telling you it's logarithm base 10. So you open this guy up. And again, I can give uh, numbers to it. And it'll calculate the base 10 logarithm there. And same sort of thing. If you give it a negative value, basically it's not going to work. Because negative numbers don't really exist for logarithms. Um, or they don't give you real answers anyway. So that's why you get not a number. And then again, even though this is base 10 logarithm, uh, if you give it a zero, it'll spit out negative infinity. But here's how you know that this is base 10 going on. If I pass the number 10 to this method here, save it and run it, then you'll get one. So just like with the natural log, if I take natural log of E, I get one. If I take the base 10 log of the number 10, I also get one. So that's just a property of logs. 
Uh, if you're studying math, if you're using these things regularly, then you'll know the properties of these guys and you'll have occasion to use it. If you have no idea what logarithms are and never heard of logarithms, then there's a good chance that you probably won't use them too much in your programming and then you, you won't use this knowledge. But if three or four years from now, if you think you might need a logarithm for some function, you can always jump in here, read the, uh, read the documentation regarding what this, these guys are doing. And of course, I'm showing you here, it's very simple to take logs and natural logs in Java.